you know, it's interesting. This is an, an, an observation that I would like to tell you guys. Um, I have used Twitter and YouTube and YouTube comments as sort of a gauge for where society is going. And so when I begin to notice more and more racism becoming common online, I begin to say, well, guys, here is a trend and we're seeing it becoming more and more ubiquitous and it's becoming more and more common, becoming right in your face. And we can see this on the internet. And people would say, people would say things like, go out and touch grass. Uh, that's not reality. Uh, that's the internet. Here is the thing, guys. The internet is a part of reality. It is. The internet is a part of reality. I am a real human being right now, and I'm talking to you. This is real. Now, I'm not right in front of you, right? I'm not physically in front of you in your room, in your house. Uh, but I am talking to you, and I'm a real person. And all the people who go onto Twitter and they write things that are pro-eugenics and they're pro-racism and they're pro-Hitler, those are real people. And they exist. And they are in your midst. They are your neighbors. They are, you see them in the grocery store. You may not know that you see them, but they're there. They're at the grocery store. They're in the church. They're at the airport. They're all over the place. They're in your job. And people will say, well, you know, you can go to the internet and you can look at the internet, but but when I when you go outside, you don't see any of this stuff in real life. That's because people don't express to you who they really are. Those people who are writing the pro Hitler stuff, they're there. They're in the grocery store. They they gotta eat just like anyone else. But they're not gonna walk up to you at a grocery store and say, Oh, Heil Hitler. That's not realistic. But they're gonna go on their computer and say it. So just because I use the internet to gauge society does not mean that I am not being realistic. I'm actually being perfectly realistic. I'm being perfectly realistic in the sense that I am using a, a virtual place where billions of people attend and where people can express themselves anonymously to gauge what people really think or to gauge how a lot of, how a lot of people are thinking. So when people say, oh, go touch grass, I, I'll tell them to, to, I'll tell them that they're morons because the reality is that people on the internet are expressing who they really are. That's the thing. When they go to the store, oh, how are you doing, sir? Oh, um, excuse me. They're not really showing who they really are. Just like when you went to Nazi Germany, people weren't going to walk around and say, oh, we're going to kill all the Jews. No, they said, well, we have a plan here. We're going to elect the party here, and then we're going to have a nice little policy. We're going to send the Jews all over to Israel. We're going to send them off maybe to Madagascar. We're going to send them off to Poland, blah, blah, blah. And yeah, there's no, there's no, there's no plan to exterminate people. They, they kept that stuff very discreet, very hidden, very hidden. People do not expose themselves that much. You see what I'm saying? They don't really expose themselves too much. But on the internet where they are anonymous, where their employer is not going to see them, where their landlord is not going to see them, where their friends are not going to see them, where their church is not going to see them, they can say whatever the hell they want. They're going to show who they really are. So really the internet is actually showing you a reality that you can't see when you go outside and touch grass. When you go outside and touch grass, there's a reality that you cannot see, and that's how people really think. But online, you can see it. That's why the internet is much realer than you think. The internet is a much realer gauge for society than you would like to think. And that's why years ago I was telling people, Nazism is rising, Nazism is rising, Nazism is rising. Well, how do you know that? Oh, I've been to Germany, I've been to Europe, I don't see what you're saying, I don't see what you're saying. You think people are going to tell you Heil Hitler in front of you? Are you some kind of a moron to actually think that that's a, a, a realistic thing to happen? The reality is that people don't show what they really think. Most people don't show what they really think. So you got to go to the internet to get a better idea of what people think. That's simple. The internet is a lot is a lot better of a gauge by which to understand the trends in society than you would like to think. Yeah, that's actually true. It is true. 100% it's true. 
oh, all these people say, oh, I went to India and everyone there was so nice and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, how many of those people were Saffron Mafia? How many of those people were hardcore, hardcore Modi fans? And they never told, because you're a white person from America, so they're going to say, oh, hello, you're from America, you're so beautiful, blonde hair, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. They're not going to tell you that they want to burn down all the Christian churches. They don't want, they're not going to tell you they want to kill all the Muslims and hack them all with axes in the name of Lord Ram. They're not going to tell you that. But I bet you if you pressed a few little buttons, they probably would. It appears we're being conditioned to hate. Well, every time I go on to Twitter, there's some racist shit that pops up every time. And I'm thinking, did I did I sign up for these pages? Nope. Is this a page that I started following? Nope. It's a page that has decided to pop up on your feed because the overlords want you to look at that stuff for some reason, guys. There's some massive manipulation that's taking place. It's pretty crazy what's happening. It's scary. It's, it's horrifying.